You're watching Equine VIP because if it's about horses, we cover it. I'm Susan Ashbrook and I'm going to be introducing you to the Painted Ladies. Now these ladies and their horses are amazing. They are not an ordinary drill team and I am so anxious to hear more about what they do and what makes them so special. Let's go talk to them and catch up with them now. I'm here with the Painted Ladies and their horses, a few of their horses, and I wanted to ask Jennifer, because you kind of round up all these ladies, yeah. and I wanted to ask you, what makes the Painted Ladies so special? Well, all of us have painted horses, and they all, we all do this for, for the love to ride, and they enjoy riding their horses, and they enjoy giving back to the community. My painted horse actually originally was my husband's horse until I started riding drill. And so now he's my horse, Sonny. And um, he loves the drill. And that's the, the neat thing about these horses is they learn the drill before we do. And um, so if you have a good drill horse, you, they, you just can't replace them. Now, I heard that you not only perform at rodeos, but you also perform at, you've performed at baseball games, BMX uh, competitions, motocross. How are those crowds different? Because rodeo crowds, they know horses, but those crowds don't know horses so much. Do they get pretty excited? I think they get more excited because they're not used to seeing the horses and they get more excited about it. I also heard um, that, um, You've performed for inner city kids, and I'm sure that that really touches your heart. And um, how is that different? Oh, we love it. That's like one of our favorite events. They're um, so excited, and a lot of them never seen horses before, even touched them, ridden them. So it's real exciting to perform for them and just see the smile that we put on their face. Now, many of our viewers are going to recognize you from the Rose Parade. I mean, that is like the most major parade. The whole world watches that. Um, how do you practice to ride for a parade? Uh, we do a lot of little city parades, like I own Parade or Marysville, and um, you just get the horses used to other things around them, like buggies or loud noises, and so mainly just practice by doing other smaller parades. And do you have to have special shoes on your horses, Jennifer? Yes, they're re we're re required to have a Borium shoe or the Borium nails so that they don't slip, especially coming down that Colorado Street. A little bit of an incline, if we're following floats, they may drop some oil, and it becomes mm -hmm. very slippery. Well, Cortez, you know a lot about the Painted Ladies. They started in 1993, and they are an extraordinary drill team. Is that correct? They are. They're awesome. These ladies work hard, uh, and they'll be here at the Equest Fest and, and also uh, uh, at the Rose Parade uh, doing their thing. What's, what's your honorary job here today? Uh, I'll probably help clean stalls, maybe. <laughs> That's the best job. You've performed for the Folsom Rodeo 17 years. That's amazing. So you've got to really, each year you've got to top the previous year. So you change them up. How do you decide to do that? We usually change up the drill according to the event. And yes, the Ro Folsom Rodeo, we always change, you know, the beginning. We try to bring in something different, whether it's um, trick riding, whether it's bringing out uh, pink ribbons for tough enough to wear pink. Or what else have we done? Fireworks. 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 We've done fireworks. Of course. Jennifer, you forgot fireworks and horses? <laughs> yes. We've done fireworks on horses. We've done... Okay. Well, we have someone standing up. Uh, trick horse, trick yeah. riding, hippodrome. And um, we've had a singer that sang on top of the horses, the national anthem, standing as well. We also and got out there and boogied one We year. boogied. We danced. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh my gosh, so now we're going to watch you practice today, and uh, what are we going to watch for? Um, well, we're hoping to pull it all together. You know, we practice and, and it all seems to go together, but this is a new arena for many of the girls. So this is the time we need to figure out how wide the arena is and how we can just, uh, just make it perfect for tomorrow. Is the whole team here yet? I know some of them are traveling with their horses from all over the state of California. And um, how do you how do you pull that together? We have mandatory practice prior to this event, so everyone that's riding it had to be there. And we were there from uh, sun up to sun down, but we got it together before the sun came down. If somebody wants to be a painted lady, what do they have to do? 
Well, they have to be 18 years of age or be sponsored by one of the girls that ride on the team. They need a paint horse and a horse that's um, generally, you know, gentle, easy to get along with. And then we'll whip them into shape. <laughs> give us the girl, give us the horse, and we got them. <laughs> You ride all over the country and I'm curious to know if you're looking for sponsors or I mean how do you afford to do this? Well it's all on our own but we always are looking for a sponsor so yes it, we do it again for the love of horses so we love to ride but we're always looking for sponsors look on our website get a hold of us at www.paintedladiesrodeo.com